In this problem, we're going to look at a more complicated example of solving exponential equations. The steps we use will be the same as with the previous example. Our problem is to solve 11.36 times 1.080 to the t power equals 180 for t. Our first step, as before, is to isolate the exponential part of the equation. The exponential part is 1.080 raised to the t. 11.36 is multiplied by that, so the first thing we need to do is divide both sides by 11.36. If we do that, we get 1.080 to the t equals 180 over 11.36. Now that our exponential part is isolated, we can use our transformation formula to change the form from exponential form to logarithmic form. If we do that, we get log base 1.080 of 180 over 11.36 equals t. Looks a little complicated because of this fraction, the 180 over 11.36, but you can trace it back to the final result in step one. The base 1.080 raised to the t power equals 180 over 11.36. So we have done the transformation correctly. Step three is to isolate the variable. In this case, t is by itself, so we are done. We next need to identify the final result in exact form, then in rounded form as indicated by the problem, so we're going to want a three decimal rounded form. Exact form is the same as my final step, of, or final part of step two, so I'm just going to rewrite that here. For rounded form, we're going to need to use our calculator and change of base. So let's see how that's going to work. Change of base says take the log of 180 divided by 11.36. Divide that by the log of the base 1.080. hit enter and we should get 35.899442207 so rounded to three decimals that's going to be approximately 35.899 I'm going to go ahead and write that as t is approximately 35.899 remember we use this approximation symbol when we don't have an exact result the next thing we need to do is to check this result by graphing using the intersection method in our calculator. So I'm going to go to my y equals and I'm going to enter y1 as 11.36 times 1.080 to the t. And we're going to kind of run out of room on our line but all of the parts are there. I'm going to enter y2 as 180 and let's check our window always because we notice with this graph we can't see the 180 so we need to go ahead and let's say make our x max 50 and let's make our y max 200 see if that will help us I believe that should help us so there's our graph there's the 180. Let's do a second calc, number five, intersection, to verify the 35.899, which we did. So in your write-up here for step five, be sure to include the equations for y1, y2. Draw a graph here representing what you found with the intersection, and then indicate the intersection ordered pair and the final solution.